Oh, well, I guess I can just eat lunch by myself. I head back to my classroom. It's a few minutes before fifth period start. Fifth period starts, and the hallway is filled with students going back to their classrooms. I'm sure it's so, uh, Sakura is all happy. In contrast, the stairs are quiet and empty. Not many students go into a different floor to eat. There. I bump into Sakura. Brutal. She looks away awkwardly as soon as she sees us. Us. What could be wrong with her? She was so energetic this morning, but she looks depressed now. That's, this is, this is the worst. This is literally the worst. Sakura. I call out to her. But before I can say anything else. Sorry, Sakura. Tosaka steps forward. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not going out with her yet. だから違うんだってちょっとね用があって私からエミヤ君をお呼びつけたのついでに言うとエミヤ君もあなたとの約束をすっぽかしたわけじゃないわ。If <laughs> he wasn't so dense, he would have realized what she was inviting him to. That's why I would have said I don't agree to today. Because because I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. I knew I had to talk to Tosok, and I didn't want to make two commitments because one of them I would screw over and they would get upset and they'd have their feelings hurt. Tosok is just more pissed than anything. But I knew Sakura was going to be emotionally upset. So as much as a joking, I'll pencil her in. That's why I said I would do it, do it tomorrow. Because it, doing it today is just awful. This is what was going to happen. It was bound to happen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I swear to God, buddy. I'm gonna break your jaw. Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna throw you out the window. Like, you could have just said, Sakura, I'm, I'm really busy today. I would love to eat lunch with you tomorrow. It's all you had to say. It's all you had to say. Swear to God. Mm. Come on. It's not that hard to expect these things. It's just common sense. Hold on. We never made any promise to eat together. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Don't pull that shit. You did. I said tomorrow. Don't agree to something unless you're going to do it. You didn't do it. If you get, come on, you can't, you can't, uh, okay, I don't, I won't say promise because he technically didn't say I promised to eat with you. But I mean, you still agreed to it. As much as you'll say, oh, I didn't technically agree with it, you did. You led her on to believe that you were going to eat with her. And then you, you know, showed on her and hung out with a different girl. That's an incredible, shitty thing to do. Fuck off. You should have realized it. It doesn't take a uh, genius to realize that. And when I look, I see that Sakura's lunch is untouched. Because she was waiting for you. That's right. What was I thinking? Tosaka's absolutely right to call me an idiot. Yeah. But like I said, it's not Tosaka's fault for eating. She had no idea. It was his... It was his stupid idea. It was his stupid idea not to actually eat with her, or just so uh, say, "Hey, I gotta eat lunch with Sakura. Can we make this real quick? You know, how about we talk on the way to the archery field and then separate at that point? You, you do something. You just talk quickly and then end it. But it's just some people can't be helped, I guess." Stop it. Promise for tomorrow, at least. At least make that promise. Just say, I'm really sorry. I, I want to apologize to you full heartedly. I, I didn't realize. Because you can pull it out of this tailspin right now by saying, I didn't realize you wanted to eat lunch together. I'll make it up to you by eating with, with lunch to you tomorrow. How about that? Or the, for the rest of this week. And I'll even make you lunch. Make it up that way. I'll make lunch for you tomorrow, and we can eat it together at that point. Make it up that way. You have to commit to something in the future to make up for this right now, but you have to also apologize. 
行くぞ桜今からでも間に合う No, just promise to another day Rushing it's not gonna make it any better Just promise right now for tomorrow 道場で手っ取り早く済ませれば It's not about the archery range It's just eating together, it's being together I grab Sakura's hand and start running No, you idiot But Promise for tomorrow. Just, this is how you. Because you just don't get in this situation in the first place, but put, promise tomorrow that you'll eat with her. That I'll leave, class room, or I'll leave class early and I'll be sure to be there first. <coughs> to spend all of lunch with you. Tosaka's calm analysis stops me. I panic because I felt guilty for breaking the promise, but Tosaka's 100% right. That's why you make an effort for tomorrow. You double down on tomorrow and the day after. Do it for two days. Promise two days in a row. Fuck it. Salvage it. Say something. Promise something. No, it wasn't. No. Promise for tomorrow. Promise for tomorrow, you son of a bitch. I don't know uh, what to say when she makes a face like that. Tosaka, don't feel guilty. It's Shiro's fault. Stop it. Both of you. I'm pissed at all. A a only at him. Both of you, don't feel bad. Sakura, you can feel a little bad because, you know, it's a pretty shitty thing to do. But don't. it's not your fault. Don't worry. Tosaka, it's not your fault either. He was being stupid. Sakura goes up the stairs with the lunch in hand. Oh, I feel like an asshole. You're gonna set me up to go out with her? You are... Okay. You're... Okay. Then, Tosaka leaves a strange message before she leaves for her classroom. I'll take anything I can get. God, he pisses me off. Fifth period ends and the room empties qu out quickly. It's not even two o'clock yet. <sighs> go, because she's going to tell Sakura to go. There's nothing I can do here, so I guess I'll go to the shopping district. There's only one Chinese restaurant in the shopping district. Oh, God, I have to hang out with Ilya, too. Oh, everything's going to hell. Everything's going to hell. So now Ilya's going to be upset. Oh, oh yeah, no, I'm not even trying. Taizan. <laughs> it's an ominous dungeon in the shopping district with no windows to show you what's inside. Most first-time customers run away after seeing the place. How the? How are you even supposed to begin to pronounce that? The manager, a favorite of the neighborhood association, is a strange little Chinese man nicknamed Small Manager. Batsu has a tendency to fill every dish with red pepper. Cool, depends how much. In other words, the food's hot. Really hot. Imagine being stabbed in the tongue and then having salt rubbed into it. And you'll be on the right track. Mm, sounds interesting. This restaurant's infernal seasonings have given me a general distaste for Chinese food. It doesn't help that the manager keeps adding aru at the end of every sentence. What? And now I'm entering this terrible dungeon willingly. The manager will bring a menu as soon as he sees me. That'll be the end of it. At the very least, I'll have, an, I'll have to order something that uses sweet vinegar. It'll turn out horrible if I order something like twice-cooked pork and uh, mapu tofu. It is out of the question. This, that stuff is dangerous. It'll melt my tongue. I hear the judge of hell puts out your tongue. Uh, puts, pulls out your tongue so much. Uh, so, so, so much. So, fuck. So, such awful food could easily turn, come from there. The manager traveled abroad to train his cooking art, so maybe he trained with the devils. <sighs> That's awful. That was an awful sentence. It's almost 2.30. I promise to be here right, out, uh, right after school, so I can't hesitate yes. no longer. I don't know why I have to get pumped up to, to going into a restaurant, but, that, but here it's necessary. I'm not sure what Tosak was thinking when she said we should meet here, but I'm sure she's regretting it now. She didn't say she'd meet you there. She just said go there because she's sending Sakura there. Wait. Oh shit. Hmm? 
したかエミア余計だよ時間があったのでな先に食事を進めていたあ、uh, I gotta go The priest is eating mop of tofu Unspeechless Why is Kotamina here? I like that he's, he's already got the sweats going Why is he eating mafu tofu that looks like a boiling pot? Why is he eating it so fast? Because the faster you eat it, it won't burn as much. He's sweating, but he never stops for a drink, spiritedly moving his hands as if they will never stop again if he stops. Never move again. Actually, is he just being stubborn? He's eating it way too fast. Or is it that good? It looks as if the spicy oil and red pepper were cooked together for a hundred years used to be used in that dish. Just to be used in that dish. Then this is bad. This restaurant and Kotamina are both bad. <laughs> that food has dangerous amounts of spice, and I can't be explained any other way. <laughs> Jesus, dude. You okay? <laughs> the priest talks as, as he keeps eating. I take caution as I sit across from him. Well, I'm not too sure what I'm on guard against. I watch his movements. Amazing, he has only about two more mouthfuls left. I watch in amazement when Kotamine stops eating. Suddenly stops eating. Or eyes meet. Kotamine watches me with his unusual oppressive eyes and dies. <laughs> Kuka. No, I'm good. Kuka. <laughs> What's this? I reply with all my might. Okay. The priest frowns a bit before he finishes the mafo tofu. Huh? Did my reply disappoint him? Yeah, you're supposed to eat it. The only one waiting for me is uh, Kotamine. It seems he asked Tosaka to invite me here. Here I thought Ren was going to invite uh, uh, Sakura. That would have been interesting, but no. Nah. Yeah, no big deal. I'm kind of amazing like that. He's lying. Even if it's true, he should have picked a better restaurant. <laughs> つまらぬ世辞は余計だったか。では、望み通り本題に入る年を。リンからキャスターが生きているという話は聞いたな。なあ、キャスターはまだ限界していて、町の人間から魔力を集めてるって言うんだろ。そうだ。その件と関係がある
教えてもらったからには代償ぐらい払う一方的に話されたことだけど必要なことだったからな<笑>相変わらずギリがたいことだなエミアシロ The priest smiles in satisfaction. <laughs> It seems he knows even. He knows every move I'm going to make. But I'm not going to fall for his tricks that easily. No, he shouldn't even know, even know if he does have a servant. Neither Saber nor Archer, Tosaka's servant, could tell. Nani, Tanjuna Hanashida. What does she know, Lansaga, Ludoji, the Assassin, Yabretta? Yatsuga Shomets, Rusuns, and Noezo, Master, they are what she got Kaishu Stani Sigin. Then? The priest simply states something absurd. Matashimo master that we eat. Oh, my mock chinista de vanaika. Savan to demo inai kagiri wakaranai to. Yeah, Jitsuni sono tori dattana. Eh? Daga soremo kino made no hanashida. ランサーは消滅し、私は今回の聖杯戦争におけるマスターではなくなった。お前たちの敵ではなくなったということだ。さて、話はそれだけか。ではお前の番だ。ここ数日、何と出会い何を見た The atmosphere becomes heavy in an instant. He doesn't allow me any questions. He wants answers. I have a lot of things I want to ask him, but I have to answer him first. In as much detail as possible, I recount what happened to me after making my contract with Saber four days ago. This story lasts about 30 minutes. I haven't done much as a master. The information I provide is mostly useless. But the priest takes great interest in Mato Zoken. Mato Zoken. Tony Rosui Staka to Motita. Imada ni gain ektoana. Hitono chios sri yokai to you no a honto dataka. Hano shisanga. Hitono chios sri yokai. So da. Mato no majitsu a kyushu dena. 6代前の魔術師であったマトウ・ゾウケンは際立った虫使いだったと聞く Using bugs, that doesn't mean his familiar is a bug, right? Or maybe way to use bugs is... 待ってくれ虫使いってその虫を媒体にして毒を使うやつのことか何百匹もの毒虫を壺に入れて最後まで生き残った虫で呪いを打つっていういや孤独の類ではないもとより呪詛はマキリの専門外だ彼らが行う魔術は必ず自らの肉体に成果が変えるもの呪いなどを行っては相手と共倒れになるだろうじゃあ読んで死のごとく虫を使い魔にしてるってことかなあマトウ造犬は他人の血を吸うだけの妖怪だ人の血を吸うことで若さを保ち肉体を変貌させ数百年を生き抜いたというがさて A few? リンの父親の話ではすでに死にたい白日のもとには出られないということだったが日の下に出られないそういえば会った時はどっちも夜だったけど Hope he falls down the stairs. He sucks on people's blood to prolong his life. And he can't walk under the light of the sun. That's just like Kotomine. a vampire. Yeah, totally. 
あれは吸血鬼というよりは吸血中だよ性質も性格も陰湿なナメクジだ I'd say more like a liege because he's just around he's not like doing anything he's just sitting around living he insults Zoken it seems good to me he really hates that old man well yeah he, he was part of the war against his family well no he said he was part of the Contracted for him, I believe, so never mind. Yeah. Matozoken I mean, of course, it does bring back the whole, like, oh, you know, what happened when we face what's his face. I don't think it'll be as bad. I mean, we can't have it happen twice in a row. So, <laughs> Shinji said he hadn't, had, hasn't given up, and he has the back of Matozoken. He lost his command spell, but that old man might be able to give him a new servant. Yeah, it's called Assassin. Makiri no Gorojin ga ugoite iru no naraba. Kotomine nods himself and relaxes. Kantokuyakunne.昨日まで俺たちに隠れてマスターだった男が何を。そういうな。元より私に望みなどない。ランサーを得たのも。より良い願望者に聖杯を与えたかっただけだ。それもここまでだがな。あとはマスター同士で決めることだ。ま、私的な意見を言わせてもらえば、お前かリン、そのどちらかに聖杯が与えられればいいと思っている。I would do. Believe me. I frown. The priest is serious. He said he just said he doesn't need the Holy Grail. I don't think he does. I think he just wants to be summoned. In fact, he clearly told me that he wants either Ren or I to obtain it. A goal that is meaningless if he achieves it himself. なんだよそれ。謎かけなら予想でやってくれ。老婆心の積もりなのだがな。私とお前は同じだ。明確な望みがないもの同士。救いなど求めてはいない。故に。I feel like he has grabbed my heart in his hand. The priest's words seep into my mind like a curse. I constrict my wavering eyes and glare at him. And then... Oh my god. The second and third plate to Mavu Tofu were placed on the table. It, that sounded like Elia. <laughs> Good to me he picks up his spoon. I'm sure of it. He ordered more servings beforehand. Our eyes meet. Good to me stares at me with oppressive eyes and... No. <laughs> I answer him with a straight face. I leave uh, Tyson. Insiken? Yeah. 
It's because Kotamina had no intention of talking and Warren started eating the mapu tofu. That's only the restaurant with a heartburn. I will. The priest warns me as if uh, someone uh, it, it is someone else's problem. Interlude, Heaven's Feel, 7 1. Goody. Ah, oh, Jesus. Wind enters the damp room. From the open door come two sets of footsteps. One kicks the ground in a hurry, and the other is being dragged in. Uh. Ah, oh, damn it. Thump. Heavy sound echoes through the room. It is the sound of Mato Shinji and the one who came in to this room in a th hurry, throwing the, in the person he brought with him. The floor in the secret room is r wriggling around. The worms must be active right now as the leech-like insects are writhing like all, all over the floor. Mato Shinji knows what these worms are. These are lust worms that his grandfather Mato Zoken raised that love human blood, yeah, semen, and marrow. <laughs> Oddly specific. Disgusting. Once warned by those lust worms, men will have their spine crushed, brain sucked, and will be made into a crap, but the worms will transform it. When attacking a woman so that they were able to violate her nerves, they will spread their tentacles all over her body and devour her spirit. Lust worms will wet the woman's skin with their mucus, excite and destroy their, her central nervous system of pleasure and satisfy their hunger. It must be their instincts as the worms seem to love the woman's womb. They do not eat women's flesh, but seek the organs within them. They give the woman huge enough orgasms to fry their brain. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's... That's believable. And they go into their body and devour their placenta. Did you do what? What? Um. Um. What? Unwilling to eat human flesh, worms have only one way to get what they desire. As a result, the woman's mind and body are completely avoid violated and destroyed. The name Lust Worm comes from such characteristics. Mata Shinji throws the person he dragged in here into such a pool of worms. Thank you for getting away from those. Those look disgusting. Get started. He talks from the top of the stairs. Nobody, man or woman, can survive after being thrown into a swarm of lust worms. But this person is an exception, and the worms slither away from the person. Are they scared or have they lost interest? The worms do not approach the figure. They merely reflect the right around the figure with their mucus. Uh, there we go. The only reply comes from the worms. The darkness undulates as if liking the order. Yeah, and I guarantee that Sakura. There's no reply. The only sound in the room is the annoying cry of the worms. Mato Shinji threatens to reveal everything. The person on the floor trembles. That is not allowed. The old man who Mato Shinji calls a master will not allow it. But this person knows Shinji is not the type to follow his master's order. He is frantic right now. Anyone that gets in his way is his enemy. The old man forced him away from the battle out of concern for his life, but the concern itself is an unforgivable insult to him. He should have let him die. A change occurs after a long silence. A figure appears in a flash of light. The worms flee the corners of the room like an ebbing tide. Even the worms understand how powerful the materialized woman is. So, so. Poor writer. Long hair and a slender tall figure. The one clothed in all black is the servant called Ryder. The black servant asks. She's looking up from the bottom of hell, from the preserved of, preserved of worms. I want you to die so bad. Mato Shinji does not hide his joy at becoming a master again, and spits out words covered with lies. You're a fucking cocksucker. It's almost four o'clock when I get out of the restaurant. I have no business in the shopping district, so all that's left is to go home. But Kotomina's story is not something I can ignore. Caster is still alive. People are still falling into unexpected comas, and... 
I'm still surprised by how calm I was when I found out Kotomina was a master. Couldn't think of it, I never got along with him. I must have known instinctively that we would be in opposition. <laughs> yes! I was waiting for it. Come on, come here. And pick her up and carry her home. In any case, Kotomina lost his servant. No, you need to listen to her. But there are three masters remaining now. Assassin's master who seemed to be at the Rito Temple and Archer's master, Tosaka. And... <laughs> hey, how's it going? I just want to pick her up and, like, carry her around on my shoulder. I mean, she's short enough, too. Berserker's master, the girl in front of me right now. God, my paternal instincts are coming out around her. Ah, oh, I just want to adopt her and take care of her. And just raise her. Ah, oh, this is awful. Well, oh, I thought I heard something, but it could it be? Of course she has. Hey, that's rude. How about we go home? Oh, she's right. We have a tact understanding to meet there in the afternoon. How could I have forgotten just because I was talking with Kotomina? Adorable. You want me to buy you something? Iliya glares at me. What should I do? I can't blame her for getting mad since I did forget my hard promise and make her wait. I had to show her my sincerity, so 